Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about on-site interviews. So let's get into it. So the question in question today was a little bit of a story, but it went something like, Frederick, I have done my first interview with a big IT company and I was asked to make a small view application with Node.js as the backend and now they're bringing me on site and I'm told that I'm going to go through a series of other interviews where I'm going to talk to the head of engineering and so forth. I'm a little bit worried because they I think that they might give me a a coding challenge and I'm not sure I'm up to the task. Is it normal for uh, for you to get this far into the process and still be forced to do coding challenges? And the short answer is yes, it's very normal. Let me explain. So what you should know about the first and foremost, the interviewing process or the recruitment process of a programmer is that it's absolutely horrible most of the time, well, a lot of the time. There are, they are so bad, so many of them, that you have, and this is the thing, right? Nobody talks, no, nobody really talks about this when they want to, to sell the idea that you should become a software developer. Yes, it's great to be a software developer, as long as you have a job. It's not that great when you're gonna get one because there's so many hoops to jump through. And as the subscriber is touching on, it's actually a very, it can be a very ex excruciating process where you might feel a lot of anxiety over performing the and this is not something I'm sorry to say that's going to go away anytime soon. So the core question here is should you should the subscriber prepare for the fact that they might be forced to do even more technical challenges once they're on premises? Yes, you should prepare for that you should be aware, very aware of that that might happen. You see, the usual way a interview is structured is that you have some type of check that makes like just kind of screening process. Now the screening process layer in this, process, in this whole circus is gonna be something like an recruitment person or an HR person or something like that on the company side who screens or a recruiter who screens you based on your CV or something like that. They're gonna identify whether or not you seem applicable. That's the first step and that's also why I've told you many times, guys. I know that CVs and so forth may not be the funnest thing in the world to work on, but they are very important because they are the first introduction that, to, that you are gonna give to the company. If the CV seems bad, you're not gonna to get to step two. It doesn't matter if you are with God's gift to programming, if you can't show it on paper. So that's the first part. So they're going to screen you that way. The second step in the screening process is usually going to be a social social test of some sort. And this is where uh, every single, uh, th these are at the very least the two things that are always going to be present in every single coding interview in general terms you're gonna have a social test and you're going to have a technical test. Which order they come is hard to say because it depends a little bit on the company. Usually what happens is that they make an introduction, you talk a little bit, and then they ask you, are you okay with taking a code test? So either they're going to do, usually, they're going to just send you a code test that you can do at home, as in the case of the subscriber, or something similar, or you'll get like a challenge of some, there's platforms that will test you on coding stuff, as, related stuff as well. So either a project or some type of coding challenge where you should implement an algorithm. And you will get a unknown time period. They will tell you, you have two hours, three hours, seven days, something like that. It all comes down to, yeah, what you need to do. Uh, and each company is different. Some of them are really, really unreasonable. And I, I really, I have, bad memories, but that's a different video from people giving you exercises that will literally take days to complete. And that's just normal because, hey, you really want this job, right? And I kind of go, no, <laughs> I don't. Anywho, the, uh, the, the that's the first part, some type of test like that. So as this person was describing, he's already taken the technical part. Now, the problem with this is that if they now take you on-prem, the th only thing that you can be certain of is that they are going to test you on the social skills. They're going to have an interview with you and they're going to do, uh, like they ask you questions and they are going to expect you to ask questions back. They're going to try to get your pulse. They're going to try to get a feel for are you a good, good culture fit? And that's a key word, 
culture fit. Culture fit doesn't mean that you're a nice person. Culture fit means that you are what they want you to be in order to fit into one of their teams or into whatever position they are looking for, right? And that's a big part of it. They're going to test you and uh, depending on how insane their process is. I'm at the big companies, the process is usually that they interview with several people and they might, and this is the key thing here. You don't know if there's going to be more technical questions coming on later. What's very normal is that they might have tests that check just your algorithmic skills. Sometimes they test you on logical skills. I've been in a situation where they asked me to just move around dots on a screen and in a logical sequence to see if that if I have logical thinking. And I also needed to do a coding challenge that was reviewed by some people. And on top of that, I needed to do a pair programming session as well. So I did live coding on prem when I was there. So I did the actual algorithmic thing by myself, submitted it as part of the screening process. And then we had like a call interview over the over the wire, okay, just over Skype. And then I actually went on prem and I did the logic test and then I did the uh, the pair coding thing. And it continues. Usually they stop after that. Like if you're going to go to Google or Facebook, it might be different. They might have an even longer process. And then they might have what we call the whiteboard test for you, which is more of architecture type of thing. Do you know how to design a system? Do you know the components into in how, how a distributed system works, et cetera, et cetera. So the thing is, you, you, honest to God, you can't really know if you're in the clear, if you're going to get another hard technical challenge, because the com depending on the company, they might have several of those and they might test you in different ways. The only, the only thing that you can be certain of is that they're going to test you both technical, uh, your technical skills and they're going to test your social skills. So you're going to have to prepare. Even if you're on-prem, you're not out of the woods yet, I'm sorry to say. So what I want you to take away from this is that the recruitment process in IT is insane. It's absolutely horrible for the vast majority of us. Luckily enough, once you get to a certain level of seniority, it gets less horrible. So if you work on your skills, you can kind of, you, you usually dance through some of these things. Some of the things are like just very badly. And that's the thing that is very hard for you in the beginning, because you may be inclined to believe that if you fail on one of these processes, that you are the problem. And the reality is, guys, it's a mutual thing. The, these processes, some of them are really, really bad. Some of them are good, but most of them are really bad. And some companies have completely un unrealistic expectations on the people that they're trying to hire. So it's hard to say, like, you, you try to not take these things too personally. And when you go through an interviewing process or for a job, realize that usually the way it goes is you start with a CV, you have a call, talk to someone at the company and talk, you do some small talk. They usually send you a technical interview type of thing where you need to do some exercise depending on what it is. It might take an hour, several hours, or there might be a website or something like that. Some technical challenge before they take you on prem where you go and meet them. And then they, at the very least, they're going to have some type of deep interview with you trying to figure out your value system, things like this. And it might also cascade into that you need to do pair programming, pair programming with them, further logical tests or technical challenges, and maybe a whiteboard test where you need to sketch out and like show how you think and so forth. It all comes down to communicating, testing you from different angles. That's what they're trying to figure out. They try to test you from the technical angle, the collaboration angle, the architectural angle, et cetera, et cetera. They're just trying to see if you're rock solid. And sometimes they are realistic in their expectations and sometimes they're completely unreasonable. You don't really have much, uh, you can't really assume all that much. But uh, what I can tell you is try your best and be transparent and genuine. Show an interest in the position and be clear in your communication. And that's going to take you more than half the way. Have a great day.